Good morning, everybody. Stoney here with Onk Homestead. Morning coffee. Uh, that's good stuff. Just give you a little bit of a morning view here. This is what I get to enjoy looking at when I wake up. If the weather cooperates around here, we go through fall, all four seasons, and maybe a couple extras every day. So, anyway, thought I'd better check in with you and uh, I want to tell you about something that's been going on. One of the many reasons why I haven't been on here, uh, we've been a little busy. Not just for homesteaders, uh, anybody that buys a house, um, especially if you're not in a, in an incorporated location, town, city. Um, but for homesteaders on or off grid, this can be extremely critical. When you buy a place and there's an inspection done, have your septic not only located, <laughs> but have it inspected. And if it's not emptied, have it emptied before you move in. Um, typically in the real estate market, that's just part of the selling process is the tank gets cleaned out. doesn't always happen. Uh, and it's not a requirement in almost anywhere, but it should be done by the seller um, when they sell a place. It just, it avoids headaches like a um, buyer comes in at an open house and decides, hey, let's see if the toilets work and it floods the bathroom because the lines are backed up because the tank is full. Um, anyway, yeah, know where that tank is. Um, know where your lines run, know where your clean out port is. Um, and when you first get to a place, if the tank hasn't been emptied, get it done. That two, three, five hundred dollars will save you thousands if you get it done to start with. Um, critical critical now I know a lot of a lot of folks that are homesteading or want to homestead um, are using composting systems and that's great if that works for you that's great uh, we brought we bought a pre-existing home on our property and uh, so we just we're going with the tank because it a new tank was installed less than 10 years ago so and we thought that would be a good thing let me show you the reason why I'm looking older than usual if that's even possible my older son and I had to do this there's what we dug out with we had to do all of that with these tools because the tank only had an outlet cover installed but did not have one put on the inlet cover and the inlet cover was buried three feet deep and in order to protect the tank and prevent uh, ground usage in that area, it was buried primarily with sand and rock in a place where now we couldn't get a backhoe in here to do it ourselves. So the two of us old busted up vets took turns with that shovel and rock bar, and but we did it. And uh, had a couple expert help helpers uh, the tank pumper and a line inspector and whatnot. So, you know, 
about a thousand dollars later a thousand dollars and a couple of days of hard labor later we're in good shape save yourself a headache and locate that tank right off the bat make sure that you have risers on both of your lids if it's a large tank if you have if you're a small homestead like a one bedroom cabin and you have a smaller tank you can get away with uh, one riser and lid to access the tank but make sure that's done something else for new folks that have never owned a home with a septic uh, and older folks who have but are maybe buying uh, something that's new construction with septic they put filters on the outlets now I didn't know anything about it talked to dad he didn't know anything about it. never heard of such a thing um, apparently that filter has to get cleaned out twice a year this tank hasn't been taken care of since it was installed I'll take the hit on that. I didn't get it inspected when I bought the place. I took uh, I took it as a point of grace that uh, the folks were taking care of the place because they did a lot of other things to clean it up. Um, so yeah, very critical. When you're buying a place that has a septic, locate that septic and have it inspected right away. Uh, beyond that, know where your tank is. Make sure it's accessible. Put risers on it because they're buried. Duh. And uh, get that taken care of. It'll save you a lot of hassle. <laughs> a lot of hassle. And if your line's plugged and you got a slow drain and you're plunging and snaking and everything else and the water disappears when you do that, it's not going into your tank if you're plugged. Make sure you have access to that tank. And then when you wake up on beautiful mornings like this, with this incredible view, and you're getting going and enjoying your hot coffee and watching the dogs harass the cows, you can do so without a lot of pain. <laughs> So that's my morning coffee words of wisdom for you guys make sure you know make sure you know these things that's something that's critical to uh, smooth operation of a household but most especially on a homestead because all the time we spent doing that was time it took away from taking care of animals and putting up food you know it matters so there's my check-in I'll try to get back more often <sighs> morning coffee <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves peace